I knew that television was getting started then, so to speak. And I had I had already worked some shows and so on, and I and I felt that hey, you know, this is a, a good thing, and I wanted to be a part of it, and so so I went and applied because I was still freelance, and uh, it was hit and miss on Broadway because how many shows are done, you know, and so on. So I said, hey, maybe I can get in it, and I went and I put my application in, and. Uh, they, and they read my application and uh, had three vice presidents. They sat me down in an office. They gave me that respect, at least, to let me know that my credentials were in order and, and I had the background they wanted, but they didn't think, and this is what they said, don't, we don't think it's time to, to put a, a Negro into that position at this time. And they didn't. And uh, but they ended up they hired a black stage manager later on, pretty uh, I guess it must have been a few years after that. They hired a, a chap who was deceased now by the name of Roy Allen, and uh, then but then I was the next one in line. And uh, so they sat you down and they they told you that. How did you respond? What did you say? Well, well you know, there isn't too much you can say. Is is uh, I don't agree with you, gentlemen. You know and. And uh, if you feel that way and you, and, and you are American and you feel that way and you feel that you are American, I say, it's, it's you people who have to change that. I say, you, sh you should make that change if I'm qualified. But how much could I lambast them, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, just bow out and bite your, bite your teeth, bite your tongue, and go on. And uh, uh, I came on back to Broadway. How long did it take for you to be hired as a stage manager at CBS Television? Uh, about ten years after that, I'd taken a show. I'd taken a, 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 a musical review to Canada. We were supposed to go to Europe for a year, but they were going to break it in in Canada, and we wanted to do Montreal, uh, 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 Toronto, and then uh, go to Europe. And we played both places. We played Montreal and played Toronto. And then the uh, Manning Gurian was the producer's name. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to think of his wife's wife's famous actress. I can't remember her name. But anyway, he, he called me and told me, Jimmy, we have to close the show. Something happened with the budget and so on. And he couldn't afford to go to Europe with the show. So I came back to New York. and. Uh, Two days after I was back in New York, my phone rang, and someone says, Jimmy Wall, yes, are you still interested in joining CBS as a stage manager? I says, yes. So well, when can you take a physical? I thought it was some of my guys who knew was putting me on. So I say, right now. He said, that's a little too fast. He said, how about tomorrow morning? I say, you got it, where? And sure enough, I came and took, uh, uh, took my physical the next morning and went to Rick right away on the Captain Kangaroo show. But I got to tell you, during the interim, between 52 and that, my wife was nursing a woman, because I told you my wife's an RN. She was nursing a woman in the hospital. And it developed the woman in conversation, found out the woman was the executive secretary of the vice president of personnel at CBS. And so my wife said, oh, yeah, well, my husband applied. And she told first in personnel. So she said, oh, yeah. So when she got, she said, well, let me look, when I get back to Rick, let me look up. And she looked, they had, had destroyed my resume and everything. She said, have your husband send me another resume. And I did. I sent her a resume. By that time, I'd gotten additional Broadway credits. Because in those days, incidentally, television wouldn't hire a stage manager unless they had Broadway experience in those days. So I'd gone back to Broadway and had done some other shows. And uh, sent her the resume, and about two weeks after I sent her the resume, I got a call to come in for another interview. And I came in for an interview, and the vice pre with the vice president of personnel, and he looked at my background. He flipped. He said, "They need you. They need you." And then another, about another week after that, I was hired. 